Melissa Royce, and welcome to Around Addison. On today's episode, we'll take a look around the district and introduce you to some interesting people and programs that have a daily impact on our student lives. But first, let's toss it over to my co-host, Sia Rugdi at Herbert Hoover Middle School. Thank you, Alyssa. Most of us are familiar with Legos, the interlocking brick construction toy capable of creating anything your imagination can design. This year, throughout Edison, certain students are using a modified and mechanical version of Legos to highlight STEM lessons in the classroom and taking creative thinking to a whole new level. In public education, the past 10 years has shown a dramatic shift in the classroom. New practices and the implementation of technology has altered the classroom's focus away from dictation and recording to collaboration and immersion. There has also been a push to develop and highlight conceptual and creative thinking. In order to punctuate this, teachers have been looking to apply more outside resources and technology, designing lessons that will challenge and energize the students. A perfect example of this is a project that some elementary and middle school students took on during the fall, designing and programming Lego Mindstorm. Oh, a computerized and mechanical adaptation to the beloved interlocking block toy that is a staple of most childhood experiences. As soon as I gave them the kits, I mean, they started opening them, organizing them, getting them right together because they were very excited to get to where we are now. And we separated all the colored blocks today because now you're going to start using them. So I want to see, we want to see how they function. So basically we're trying to make a robot move back and forth in a straight line, and just for Right now we're just going to make a four, like this. Because we've changed the speeding. The basic operation of Lego Mindstorm is for students to construct the vehicle provided. Then give it life by utilizing the intuitive software and programming the vehicle to navigate unassisted through a course of challenges. Try to write a program. I want you to start at this point. I want you to use rotation. So when you're writing the program, I want you to use rotations of the wheel to figure out how far it is to go from here to here. I'm gonna put an object on the end that you're not allowed to knock down. You wanna okay. get as close to okay. it as um, possible. Can I, can I borrow a tape measure? I want you to try rotations and adjust the duration and the, dif the distances and you can try different speeds. Teamwork, problem solving, and collaboration are essential for each team to complete the challenges. I'm learning a lot about patience and trial and error. Yeah, that's, that's one of the most important things in this. You need to know exactly how much to, um, to put it, right? You need to know exactly how many rotations. If you're off by one millimeter, you're done. You need to see exactly how much it is. Yes! <laughs> okay, nice job. Nice job. So that's that's pretty much as close as you That's get. what I wanted. That's what I wanted you guys to be able to do. Oh, There's so many different ways for them to execute the experiments by changing rotations, changing speed, changing the power. Uh, it really uh, encompasses physics, science, math, uh, everything. The students quickly show an interest in group problem solving, patiently listening, negotiating, and acting upon the best perceived solution to a problem. Let's put something right here and make a curve around like that. So like it has to, it's forced to go around. If, if, if we put an obstacle if, if in the street wrong, middle of that course, uh, the color no, sensor, if you exactly. drive off, like right over here. No, no, don't make it wiggly. Don't, don't make it wiggly. Have an idea. Maybe, 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 maybe the color sensor won't get oh, wait, I have that back up, mm -hmm. and it won't follow it again. Because of this sharp, it, yeah, we have like a sharp. Yeah, it turns too sharp. sharp for it, to it turns but shoot like it, it's just too like sharp. Okay, yeah. well, let's, let's have someone remove those. Right, right here. Yeah. I'll like draw a line, and then we can cut it off. And when the desired result is achieved. It consequently creates the only negative impact of this project. 
the students don't want to stop playing. They're, they're self-motivated. I give them a couple ideas to do, and then they can expand upon it once they've completed the, the tasks that I've asked, and now they can try some things on their own. So they're learning computer programming as well. And also, what could you adjust to make it easier to see how far off you are? Oh, we need a time. Based on a review of evident student reactions to this project, it has been quite a success. Let's change the power. Due to my extensive involvement with SAD, or Students Against Destructive Decisions, I've come to know a very special man named Gabe Hurley very well. Due to a reckless teen driver, Gabe's life is forever changed, leaving him permanently blind and suffering from severe facial injuries. Gabe now travels the country year-round, teaching teens the dangers of reckless driving and the impact that it may have on someone else's life. Gabe's presentation has truly changed my life, so that's why I decided to put together a PSA for him with the help of the Edison High School Drama Club and the Edison SAD Chapter. This PSA is a lighthearted take on what not to do when behind the wheel. Good afternoon, Detective Goldman with the Edison Police. May I have your license registration insurance card, please? What did I do? Hello? Why would you do that? Why would I do what? You know exactly what you did. What are you talking about? I know don't, what I did. Don't want you, don't want, don't you dare. Don't, you know exactly what you did. Don't play dumb, don't play dumb right now. What did I do? Hey, there's a bee. There's a bee. We encourage you to make good decisions behind the wheel. Even though these scenes were a bit exaggerated, the consequences aren't. This video is brought to you by Edison High School SAD.
here are a few other stories and announcements happening around Edison. EHS students Emily Cordova and Ashley Santos were chosen to represent New Jersey and Edison High School as Youth Correspondent Advisors for 2015 to 2016 for the National Organization for Youth Safety in Washington, D.C. Youth Correspondent Advisors aim to creatively use multimedia and communication channels to influence their community, parents, and peers. Their work aims to promote anti-bullying and safe driving all over the world. Each year, the top singers in the All-State Chorus apply and audition for the Elite Governor's Award, which is given to only four students in the entire state. This year, J.P. Stevens is very proud to announce that Shobana Shreether was awarded this elite honor for her outstanding vocal talent. Congratulations, Shobana, on this extraordinary accomplishment. On November 13, 2015, at Edison High School, Ms. Van Pell's Life Skills class hosted Ms. McClellan's preschool class, playing the role of teacher for a day. The students taught Ms. McClellan's students how to make seasonal art projects and read the preschoolers a Thanksgiving story. This joint adventure accumulated with the life skills class serving the preschool class a tasty snack. The purpose of bringing these students together was mutually beneficial, encouraging improved social and communication skills for both. A great time was had by all in attendance. Also, on December 10th, Edison High LLD students took the morning hours to prepare food for a holiday party they threw for J.P. Stevens MD students members of the Board of Education and Administration. The students had a blast whipping up some tasty meals for all who attended. The Edison High School STEM Academy is a demanding four-year program that offers highly motivated students an opportunity to explore their interests in the fields of mathematics, science, and engineering within a comprehensive high school. Recently, some prospective eighth grade students had a chance to get a taste of what the Academy has to offer during their annual design day at EHS. Um, on behalf of Edison High School and the staff and the faculty and all the students, we want to welcome you here to Edison High for our second annual yeah. Design Day Challenge. Eighth grade students from around the district descended on the EHS STEM Academy for their annual Design Day Challenge. Thanks for coming to our second annual uh, STEM Design Challenge Day. You guys have a lot of fun today. This day is set up to give prospective students the ability to experience the academy in an everyday setting. The students first have a chance to meet the instructors, including Edison High teacher Kevin Kerens. Now you guys aren't even in high school yet, but think about this. What you want to do for the job you're going to end up in probably hasn't even been created yet. During their discussion, Mr. Kerens gives the students an overview of the academy and examines the requirements and expectations of each scholar. It's not supposed to be easy, okay? But I can tell you it will be worth it, all right? You're gonna go through some, you guys will be taking college courses right away. The Academy prides itself on a rigorous and demanding education that is set to prepare each student for the requirements of the country's top universities. The students also have an opportunity to ask any questions they may have pertaining to the Academy's structure and potential. Once the discussion is complete, the students are then given a project. Work in teams to design and create an object that will successfully complete a task placed before it. This year, the challenge involved the creation of a vehicle. Using the materials provided, each group of students must construct a rubber band powered vehicle that can travel at least nine feet unassisted. The group's vehicle that travels the furthest would be declared the winner. After sketching and designing their plan in the morning, the students were given 50 minutes to construct their vehicle before testing. Okay, so we glue this onto yeah. this. You need a wheel that can actually move. This one doesn't spin. Like they don't fit in here. A lot of them don't fit in here. Yeah, this is the front, so this kind of power. And then oh, I see. this one just turn. I think we should because then it could like just all the way down. They wouldn't be aligned. Take it and put it through. I think this is better, right? Yeah, but it's really too big. The hole. The annual EHS STEM Academy Design Day Challenge was created to give prospective students a taste of what a typical day would be like once they entered high school. Lofty expectations and a demanding curriculum will certainly challenge even the brightest. 
but the confidence and character built during the next four years will certainly expand the horizons of those who are up to the test. That's all for today's show. We'll be back soon with a new episode. But until then, thank you for watching, and remember to keep an eye out for what's going on around us.